the Bible says, and when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. This account of the prodigal son living in the far country, coming down to the depths of depravity and starvation, realized how much better it was when he was with his father. And the Bible says he came to himself. He woke up. It seems like God gave him repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. And doctrinally, for the nation of Israel, there is going to come a day when the Lord lets Israel go through that tribulation time and is out there in the wilderness in that far country. That nation will realize how much better it was when she walked with God, bread enough and to spare, and yet perishing with hunger. And the nation will come to himself, and the nation will return from that far country, and the nation will find the Father waiting at the edge of the field to receive and restore and be reconciled to his wayward country, the nation of Israel. But today, dear child of God, you could take such spiritual comfort because the theme of the Bible and the major idea of the Bible is reconciliation. The Lord does not want you to stay in the far country. The Lord does not want you to perish, the Bible says. He's not willing that any should perish. He wants you to be restored to him. He wants you to be reconciled to him. He wants you <clears throat> to walk with him. When will you come to yourself? When will you realize that it was better and that it is better to walk with God than to abide with the swine of this world? to stay in your father's house and have bread enough and to spare or to perish with hunger spiritually and maybe physically as you wander into the far country. When you come to yourself, you will find your father is waiting. Maybe today's a day for you to remember that it's always been better and it always is better to walk with God and let that truth sober you up. Let that truth help you come to yourself and you draw nigh to God and then you will find that he will draw nigh to you.